Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, May 21st, 2021. If you like supporting channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. So yesterday was an absolute horrible day, but uh, we did go back and forward today. We did rally up towards uh, uh, 42,000, give or take, and then we were also down here at the 30, uh, 34,000. So it has been, well, a massive movement, roughly roughly um roughly 8000k 8000k in one day that's a fairly massive move so we are trading just above the 200 moving average at this point so due to the fact that we have lost more than we will we did lose more than half of the value in only one month this has been fairly oversold so we are at uh, 31 in rsi at this current stage and we were much lower so a rally could be expected. Uh, the question is whether or not that rally is um, going to be sustainable. And why, what I mean by that is that we'll have a rally that breaks through the 20 um, exponential moving average, the middle of the bullish band, and also the 50, and then goes to the highs. Um, or that we have a rally up towards the 20 exponential and then break further down and test these previous lows again. If these break... Um, if this basically breaks, then we're looking at 25, 20,000, and 20,000 breaks, then we are looking at, uh, well, much, much lower levels. So this is not uncommon for this market, as I've been pointing out for several times. Back in 2017, we did witness something similar. We went from 20,000 all the way down to 3,000. It lost half of its value in roughly one week. Uh, we saw the similar thing in 2019, and now we're witnessing just a massive, massive move to the outside. Um, so comparing the move here back in 2000, well, we have to go further back than that. Weekly chart. Comparing this move here to this move here. And yeah, it's, it's, it's very similar. It has these massive rallies to the upside and then it absolutely collapses towards the 200 moving average. And the 200 moving average is all the way down here. So we're talking about the 12K. So at this current stage, it doesn't look very good, but uh, we are finding massive amount of uh, resistance uh, support down here at the uh, 30K. And as long as that is the case, uh, we'll, that will be major support for now. But it does not look very good for Bitcoin or the cryptocurrency market overall. So there is a lot of negativity, both from China. There is certainly also quite a lot of negativity from the U.S. government, which uh, certainly will not uh, bode well for this market going forward. So let's look at Ethereum. Yes, uh, very similar here. We went from more than 4K all the way down to 1.8K. And uh, since then, we have rallied up towards the 50 moving average, uh, which we has offered quite a lot of resistance. And the same question here is whether or not we will rally here and then just break down back towards the 200 moving average. Technical indicators are, well, they are mixed. MACD is very bearish. Stochastic is becoming bullish. CCI is bearish and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So retests of the bottom that is fairly likely and uh, and this looks like just a rally that is going to break back down towards the very lows if we were to rally from here to the highs then the 20 exponential we need to break that and the middle of the bullish band but a v-shaped re recovery like this that doesn't seem very uh, very likely it looks more like this breakdown rally and then you have an even bre a bigger breakdown um, then you stabilize and then continue higher if this is going to go higher. So this would move here up towards the 50 or the 20 and break all the way down to the 200 moving average and probably even lower than that before going higher. So let's look at uh, ADA. Yes, this has recovered really nicely. So it fell from roughly 2.4 all the way down to 1.0. And now we're trading at 1.8. So a massive recovery in a very short time. And we are far away from the 
um, 20 exponential moving average. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, the CCI is becoming bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So 20 exponential and the 50 have offered support, same in the bottom of the bullish band here, and certainly $1 has offered massive amount of support for Cardano. So let's look at Litecoin. So this has certainly been all over the place today. And um, yes, we dropped all the way down to 143. Uh, rallied up towards uh, 222. And now we're trading at the 210. So same thing here. We'll mostly have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 uh, moving average. And we haven't had a crossing like that for a really long time. And usually that is a fairly bearish shine. If you look at other technical indicators, we can see the MACD is very bearish, C uh, stochastic is flat, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is also flat. So, yes, we will most likely test the 20 or the 50, and uh, that is going to give an indication whether or not this is going to recover, or if this is just going to retest the bottom yet again. So, let's look at NEO. So NEO has uh, very similar to, uh, to Litecoin, broke down to the 200 moving average down here at $40, has, is trading at 66 at this current stage, um, but we were significantly outside of the bullish band and, and a pullback was always going to happen. So we're also going to have a crossing here of the 20 and the 50 moving averages and that will also be a very bearish sign. So whether or not they will act as a support or we manage to break through them, that is the, that is the question here. Stochastic, uh, MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is, is still very bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this current stage. So we could see a rally up towards the 20 exponential, give or take around this area here, and then it could reject or we continue higher. So let's look at Dash. So Dash has not recovered as uh, nicely as uh, Litecoin and, and um a neo but it's a very similar move here um, we are inside of the bullish band right now macd is bearish stochastic is uh, bullish uh, cci is uh, bearish and the rsi is also bullish we have a crossing here at the 20 and the 50 moving average and uh, 20 will most likely move in this direction and will probably be testing the 20 within the next few trading days and uh, if that offers resistance it will probably break down to the 200 moving average and probably also lower than that. So let's look at Dogecoin. So same thing here. We went from 0 0.72 all the way down to 0 0.20. And now we're trading at 0 0.40. Right underneath the 20 exponential. And if the 20 exponential offers resistance, we could break back down towards the 50 moving average. Break below the 50, opens the door all the way down back towards 0 0.20 and the 200 moving average of 0 0.09. So, yes, um, it is a lot of uncertainty in the cryptocurrency market at this current stage. It is very risky, very volatile, and um, it is absolutely mayhem in this market. And that's the reason why I just stay away from it. I don't like uh, trading uh, instruments that are this volatile and this risky. So, so um, if we manage to break above the 20 exponential, then we'll probably head towards the middle of the bullish band at 0 0.48. And then after that, towards the top of the bullish band at 0 0.65. Break below the 50 moving average, almost the door, all the way down to the lowest here, and the 50 and 20, 200 moving average at 0 0.10. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.